This is an emergency, I'm begging urgently, this is a serious case. Everybody get up. Uh, uh. Oh girl, you got me on a good night. I took me an old man nap at 2 o'clock, I'm feeling good. Alright, let me start by putting some Florida water on my hand. If you can't see what I'm trying to say, maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> All right, how are you doing? I'm great. I'm great. Mm, and my neck don't even hurt. You ain't got no bullshit with you. <laughs> oh no. You just want to hear the message. That's what usually happens. Man, listen, people be calling me, my neck be hurt, my ass be hurt, and I be having indigestion. Hell, I had a toothache for three months. And all and all my teeth are great. But yeah, good thing. We're gonna see what's going on. So, as you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in rings, zodiac signs, or birthdays. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. Uh, you're going to be getting uh, who was my Arisha's guiding me at the moment reading. Keep in mind, I am not crowning you. I'm just telling you the energy that you're in. Okay? All right. The way it works, I deal 13 cards. First Arisha to pop out in on 13 cards. That's Arisha that's over your head's energy at the moment. Then I deal 10 cards. That's the reason that's over your actions at the moment. Then I deal seven cards. Pay close attention to that one. That one typically don't change. That's the one that's going to lead and guide you, okay? Okay. Now, I've taken the liver shuffling the cards. I want you to say your first name so I can pray on them. Do I have permission to cut your card? Yes. All right. Let me ask you a question. What's going on with you and turtles? You and turtles. I'm saying Deadpool? turtles. I'm saying a bunch of turtles, not the ninja turtles. I'm saying real live turtle. Turtle? turtles. 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 Tortellinis. I have no idea. Have you been to the Amazon jungle or somewhere where it's a lot of jungle-ish or? Are you from that region where they would find turtles in the wild? No, I'm from Brooklyn. I've well, we can here all my life. we can tell about that accent from Brooklyn. <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn. Why y'all don't pronounce all the letters when y'all say Brooklyn? Because <laughs> it's not necessary. <laughs> y'all y'all bees turn to G's. So it'd be like, I'm from Brooklyn, it's like a Brooklyn or some shit. That's what, as a matter of fact, that's where my, that's where my best man from. He from up that way. So he's a hard ass, but he's just a real nice guy, man. All right, I'm going to stop bothering you. Oh shit, cards falling out my hand. Okay, you clumsy as hell. Spirit say, she's so clumsy. Gotcha. That's the it. I told you, Baron just say she don't come with no baggage, but she clumsy as fuck. As soon as I picked up the car, she say she is literally clumsy. So how many times you done hurt yourself? <laughs> wow, me? I'm clumsy? Nah. Yeah, you're clumsy. <laughs> Let's get started. You can fight spirit, but he's saying you accident prone like a mother. All right. Oh, wow. Here we go. We finna start off. I'm gonna deal the 13 cards. Let's go. One. Two. Oh, jeez. Your first Arisha is Ocean Mayor. Go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh huh. Then you got Iku. One, two, three, and Oba. Who the hell are you running Oba? from? Oba. Who? Oba? Uh, uh, let me see. A B B A. 
A B A B B A. Okay, O B B A. B. B B Barbara Banana. Oh, okay. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna go over here and start with your first area. Uh, this uh, this area is your head space. This is why you think what you think. Speak the way you speak, perceive things the way you perceive things. In this area, you have Oshimer. And having Oshimer in this thing, uh, if you know anything about him, he's, he's, you don't know what he is. You don't know if he's a, a beautiful man or an ugly woman. You just don't know. He's very androgynous, mysterious, but he always know the right thing to say. He delivers messages on a proper scale. You know, he's a charmer, cobra god. Now, he's in the spot that's over your head space at the moment. So why are they saying you're sitting up here trying to snow somebody, if not snow somebody, convince? Let's bring it down to a more technical term. Why are you sitting up here trying to convince somebody for something? He said if you're going to continue to do this whole convincing thing, you're going about it the wrong way. Instead of sitting up there trying to convince and making the person feel like, okay, it's going to benefit them, you really need to... Be, you really need to be real for once when it comes to this right here and say, listen, this shit is going to benefit both of us. Do you know what they're talking about? Uh, my daughter, my sister, because... So are you trying to get them to do something that you want them to do? Because keep in mind, he's saying you keeps telling these people how it will benefit them. You're not saying, well, okay, this daughter, will benefit both. Well, my daughter is in school right now. So that's the only thing I'm trying to come in for to do. Have the classes, stay in school. Okay. So I don't think you get what Spirit is saying. This is it's not so. So having your daughter stay in school will solely benefit her, right? And th and you're having an argument with this girl. I'm assuming. Well, we get into we get into not mother daughter fights. Not more than not mother daughter fights. You're trying to convince, con, make somebody see your point of view with them doing something. You're putting on the charm, you're laying down the smack down verbally, you're saying and doing everything to get somebody to see your side of the story. I know what the cards are saying because I see Iku and I see Abu. So I'm just going to break it down. This is a relationship issue, darling. So I'm trying to, you putting it on the daughter. Like I mean, with family, with family or romantic? Romantic. Oh. That's what I'm trying to get. You can talk about, I want you to, the, the sister and your daughter, That's that's that can be part of it. No. Where you're trying to sweet talk, but this is Oshimer. Oshimer saying you're trying to convince somebody to do something. Well, I'm, well, I stopped talking to the guy that I was talking to because he wasn't ready for a relationship. So you cut him off. Because let me tell you something about Abba. Off. Just to let you know how the cards read. Abba is over relationships. She will break you uh -huh. up if the relationship ain't good. She breaks up yeah. relationships romantically and personal. So that's how I know this is a relationship thing. Off rip before she even speaking to me. So again, you're trying to convince somebody to do something. Ocean Mary is the one that's talking. You're trying to convince somebody to do something. You're telling this person how it's better for them. You're not saying the truth of how it's better for both of you guys. I can move on with my life and you can go ahead and do what you want to do. That type of thing. Do you get what the cards are saying? Yeah. Oh, can, can he tell me who this person is? Uh, who you who you in a relationship with? It's a relationship question. I want you to ask the right questions now. This is a relationship. Well, is a is it a relationship? No, it is a relationship. I'm telling you, off okay. rip. He already said that this is a romantic relationship or former romantic relationship. So, Do you have a okay. question? I'm not messing with nobody, so I have to be a former. So I don't know who it is. Is it? Is it 
All right, I'm, I'm, you got me, you got me confused because spirit want to give you the answer. I'm confused. <laughs> so, so let me, so we spent too much time on this card, but I'm going to run it through you one more time. And then if okay. you don't have an answer for it and you can't see it, I'll go to the next one. Okay. Okay. So right now, Ocean Mayor, what's in your headspace? He's, he's over your headspace at this moment. He's saying you're charming people. You're trying to convince someone in a romantic relationship that they should do X, Y, and Z and you're telling them it will benefit them in this form and fashion. Spirit is saying why aren't you telling them the truth about what you're trying to get them to say? You're holding back information. Whether this is a brand new person, whether this is an old person that's contacting you, you're still being cloak and dagger. Now, would you like to ask this card a question? Um, what is it that I'm, I'm not, I'm hiding, I'm not saying? I don't think Spirit gonna ask that. So let's let's. No. <laughs> I want to. I want her to get it, Spirit, because I want you to get it. So this is a romantic relationship. Let me ask you this. Thank you, Spirit. So which one? So out of out of out of the two guys that you mentioned, you ready? Out of, cause this is a romantic reading, by the way. Out of the two guys you mentioned, which one did you just stop talking to? Told to get the hell on? Michael. Now, when you told Michael to get the hell on, how did you tell Michael to get the hell on? I just told him, oh, I, I forgot how the conversation really went, but he wasn't ready for a relationship, so I told him that, um, you need to go on about your business because you're not ready for a relationship. Okay. Did you tell him that if you stay in this right here, you're going to hurt me and you? I'm going to get hurt. Did you add your side of the story to it or you just told him, try to be the big, tough, strong girl and say, get the fuck on in so many words because you ain't ready? Well, I, yeah, I, well, yeah, I didn't tell him because it's like, I feel like, What's the use? Like, is he really going to care how I feel about it? Thank you. You're going to fight me for five minutes on this reading, on this no, car. No, I'm trying to move on. That's been since September, and I'm trying to move on. September so, ain't number two months. It's, it's, so then, I'm, I'm, so what I'm, Spirit I'm, is saying, what Spirit is saying, when he comes back, Tell him you can't take this, you can't take the stress, and you are scared. And you don't think you need to be around him. He will get the picture. Otherwise, he'll come right back, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to move on to the next so one. So I have to tell him and not just ghost him, just tell him. Exactly. God damn, you fought me on this. Where you from again? Go Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Go Brooklyn. What y'all call it, uh, Cool J? I'm gonna okay. tell him about your ass. Oh, fine. <laughs> she said, tell him, bitch, fine. <laughs> All right. All right. So now we're gonna go over here to your second Arisha. This is Arisha that's over your actions. And again, my cards don't bullshit, baby. This is Arisha that's over your actions. This is why you do the things you do. Move the way you move. React the way you react to. In this area right here, you have Eku. She is basically over cutting people off, separating things out of your life. She is in your actions. So you have decided to cut someone off. Eku is saying you did the right thing. But you also left your guard up. So when this person comes back after you cut them off, this you're coming back and you're standing guard saying no uh uh ain't gonna do it ain't gonna do it to the point of what you're saying that ghosting thing mm -hmm. versus you just letting blocked. yeah block ghost it just instead of you the man knocking on the door baby can we talk and you sitting out there eating bonbons watching love and marriage and not opening the door for the man to, to, to <laughs> let the man get the shit off his chair she is saying you did a good job because he is not ready but here is the but you have to make it clear to him that you're not ready as well. You can't do this. And he'll be at peace to go on by his goddamn business. 
Would you like to ask E. Cool a question? Um, when, well, when will I know that I'm ready for something? Spirit, when will she know when she's ready? She totally disavowed the question. But let's ask this question. <laughs> No, when will, I I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask the question you asked. You ain't listening. Nothing Iku said. I, I did. Iku is telling you to keep just because you ghosted this man. You really need to let this man know because he in agony. He thinking you the super hardest person on the planet. He in agony. He is in agony because he gonna come back. And when he come back, you gonna be sitting out there protecting your little feelings and having this man script scribed in bed. Spirit saying well, you ain't gonna tell it. He wouldn't have been in agony had he answered his goddamn phone when I was calling That's why he got ghosted. Cause he sat there and ignored me and in my text messages. Now you blood. That ghosting thing is it must be a new generation thing. Cause don't ghost me. Yeah, that. is he the one who didn't answer? Because he, because listen, he isn't, him. he isn't ready. The only thing he's Risha saying, he, we know he ain't ready. You did right by, by letting him go, but you didn't give this man closure, and he's gonna keep coming back. He needs to know that okay, you just didn't ghost him because he didn't answer the phone. I ghosted you because I can't take another letdown or another hurt. Mm -hmm. Wow, don't you think he'll be okay to say I, I can respect that? Come back to me when you straight or uh, let's fuck around when you got some more sense. Wow, I like that. Versus don't talk to me at all. Now would you like to ask Eko a question about the mission that Oshimer and Eko gave you? How about you ask when will he be ready for a relationship if you decide to deal with him? How about you ask that? Oh, alright. When will he? When will he be ready for a relationship? Thank you. Was that so hard, Spirit? Yes. <laughs> when will old boy be ready for a relationship? Spirit said, "Freedom. Let it go. Listen. He is not ready, and he will not be ready. He's a player." Just tell him, Wait. just tell him, don't ghost him because he's going to come back. Be clear with him and tell him, fuck off. Don't just ghost the man because now you you basically saying I'm mad at you, but there's a chance. Be stern. Hey, I don't want this no more. I'm out. My feelings are too much important for this shit. Stop trying to be the hard person. Be like, yeah, you need to go because you got something better to do. Nah, my feelings yeah, is... Like, that's that's what you told him, but you you ain't telling him you ghosting. You ain't telling him, hey, listen, bitch, I ain't strong tight. You playing with my heart, and I will hurt you. So put it out there, cause he gonna come back, and you gonna fuck him up. All right, let's go. I, I'm sick of arguing with you about you and your strong ass feelings. God, God, I wish. I, I'm gonna write your name down on my book over. Nah, I'm just bullshit. I ain't got no book. I should create a list of difficult readers. All right. Let me stop playing. You go right. So now we're gonna go over here to your third Arisha. This is Arisha that's over your destiny. This is. Pay close attention to this one because this is the thing that you most likely gonna end up doing or becoming. In this area, you have Oba Aba. And she is, and if you know anything about her, ooh, boy, you made me argue that spirit had to take over. And if you know anything about her, she's over relationships. She's, she was the first, she was the first wife that got hurt. 
in a relationship. So now she's over relationship. So she will keep a single woman single. She will make women. She turn women uh, gay. She is just all about not allowing women to get hurt via a relationship. She is saying what you're what you're going to end up doing. You're going to end up ghosting more than one person because of this thing. You have no communication skill. It's like you're either going to do what I say or I'm done type energy. Sweetie, you're too damn young for that. That's some 50-year-old motherfucker that's supposed to be talking like that. All because you... I thought I was a good communicator. You're really not. <laughs> not with men. Not with the opposite sex. You are not a good communicator. Yo, oh, you can't call me? Fuck you, I'm out. That's your text message? That's your verbiage? She, she, How can I be better? There we go. The first real question. What's your name again, girl? I know you my buddy. You my buddy. There we go. Let's get the help we need. Spirit. Uh, but how can she be better when it comes to her relationship with men? Sounds good? Yes. Work your magic. Ah, don't talk with your mouth, baby. Talk with your body. Focus upon your strength. Don't talk with your mouth, baby. Talk with your body. Nurture yourself. Don't talk with your mouth, baby. Talk with your body. <laughs> I, I think I did enough for that. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why y'all jump straight to that? The spirit ain't saying to talk with your body. Screw him, God. <laughs> Right, they they talk with your body means show action. Got my head all crooked. Damn. <laughs> Why the hell do I feel like a pack of cigarettes in a bill? <laughs> spirit, right, so, spirit saying you uh, have to show, work your magic with your body. Uh, actions, actions, change that to actions. So the way you communicate, your verbiage is not communication. Your communication skill is the rubbing, the touching, the reassurance. So if you like somebody, you reassure them with a hug or if they come around, you just grab them and pull them close and just give them a, give them a nice hug, rub on the arm, tell them how big their arms is, you know what I'm saying? Tell them how intelligent they is and, and play the damsel in distress. This is what's going to garner you so much attention. That's your communication because your verbiage is straightforward and it's harsh. Oh, you can't talk to me? You can't talk to me? Well, fuck your mother. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God. Like you part of the Yancey boys. Jesus Christ. Do you understand what these cars are saying? Yeah, so I have to learn. Very expressive. In my uh, Alright. Yeah. That's gonna be a, a challenge. Mm-hmm. And that don't mean being expressive action wise and, and, and taking the brother down every time you wanna I'm having a conversation, let me take you down. That's no. No. That's how you communicate. Expression what spirit is saying, just to clarify. Is you letting them know how you feel versus letting them know what you want. Two big things. And you say what you want versus telling somebody what you feel. Yeah, because I feel very deeply, but I, I don't really say it. Mm, but the Baron Tarot card, just you just fought with me. I, 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 I don't know. I, I'd rather show it by, you know, do action, but... I guess I don't say enough. And that's all spirit saying. If you want to get everybody on the right page with you, you have to convey how you're feeling. Because let me tell you something. A person that don't know you're hurting will never know you're hurting if you don't tell them. Because we're very strong and we've learned to take pain. But if a person don't know that they're causing you pain and causing you to drift into your head and shit, they'll never know it because you're still screwing them. You're still cooking for them. You're still going out. You're still smiling, wishing for the best. And here you are, down there about to fold up into a damn pretzel, not and die. 
Tell the bitch, I'm hurting. You hurting me. I can't deal with this shit. If you ain't right, get the fuck on. Can't take this. And then when they then when they act right, do what you want, you rub on them, you kiss on them, you hook on them, you give them what you give them the stuff you need, and there you go. Alright. So how did you like your reading, madam? Yes. Check. It was. So now, what are you going to do moving forward in your late no spirit? What are you going to do re result, uh, regarding Kenny? Uh, so what can I do? Stop ghosting Kenny and tell Kenny he hurt your feelings and he tried you like a motherfucker. So that's why you ain't talking to him no more. That's it. Get a man closure. Wow. That yep. Um, I don't, well, he really wasn't talking anyway, so I don't know. It just makes me mad. It makes you mad enough to ghost him. But spirit, keep fine. in mind. I know I read it over, but I want you to get it. Keep in mind, spirit say you're gonna do this to the next two men you begin dating. Okay. Only the way to break this cycle. The next two men you're gonna begin dating. You're gonna ghost them and. Have some kind of thought process about them. The only way you stop this mom is the simple fact if you let them know they're hurting you. They will conform to you and say, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know you like it like that. I didn't know you didn't like it like that. Come on now. It's a dance. Tango el relationship old. I'm even speaking Spanish. And if they don't change, now you got validation to ghost, okay? Uh -huh. And you won't feel bad for it or wonder or get angry at yourself for allowing yourself to slip. You tried, they didn't. Fuck them. Uh -huh. Out, on to the I next. Thought, I, I thought I was doing that with Michael. <laughs> Look, I felt like every time I tried to tell him how I felt, he like, he, he had something, like, he felt, he felt like I was attacking him, so. Then, now, that's the nigga you ghost. Because yeah, you express yourself, like you express yourself to Michael, and Michael said, fuck off, no, I ain't with it, you're attacking me, he played, he played a prima donna. Now, now you got validation not to speak to his ass, but Kenny... Oh. Kenny probably didn't even know he was doing the shit wrong. Well, that's a whole, that's a whole separate story. Uh-huh, I know. Uh, but spirit is telling uh -huh. you to, spirit is telling you to focus on Kenny. Uh -huh. so, uh -huh. so Michael can go kick rocks. Kenny is who you need to get closure with because Kenny is the one that's fucking with your mental right now, darling. All right. I think you need to do a different reading other than who is my Arisha got me at the moment. So please consider uh, doing it. Yeah, please consider doing another one. Yeah, I wanted to book, um, um, I, I think a tension card. Yeah, I wanted to book um, I, I think a tension card reading with you, but I don't know if you still have spots available. I gotta open up these spots. I'm just clearing up my calendar, man. It's like, I, I, I. The next appointment is in May. That's because I blocked off two months so I can get caught up. When I get like three, four months out, I block off months so I can get caught up. But I'm getting caught up pretty good now. So just be, just keep checking back every week and some spots will be opening up. Okay, so I'll just book it and I'll just like keep on asking. Okay. Because I'm a Patreon too. Okay, well then if you're a Patreon, you know y'all get first dibs, right? Baron, I booked this reading, I'm a yeah. Patreon. Squeeze me in. Y'all get first, but okay. it, but the reading will have to be in the in the daytime between 12 and 4. No late nights, because those are where the other readings are. Yeah, you did say that. Um, alright, so. Alright, so, um, do you know when you have spots open? I have spots available 
whenever you're ready. If you say book it, uh, you pay okay. for it, and uh, your Patreon, I just sit up there and you, you send me that email, Patreon member, book the reading, you send it to me, and I contact you and say, hey, what this day, this day look like? And you say, yeah, that's the day we expect. All right, I'm going to go book it right now. Yeah. All right, then. Well, you have a good one. All right. Thank you. All right. Everybody, that was a little fight. Spirit just wanted her to correct something that's going on with her, and uh, and that's what the catalyst. She hold all her emotions in like a lot of women do, and a lot of men, believe it or not. But she's holding all her stuff in, and she's sick and tired of the bullshit. Sick and tired of expressing herself. And that was done because of Michael. So now she just like, I'm over this shit. Fuck, fuck Kenny too. But in order for her to get closure with Kenny, she has to sit up there and say, hey, tap to try the same thing. Then she give a reason. Cause right now this dude gonna keep coming back, keep coming back, keep coming back. Cause nobody likes rejection. And that's the only thing Spirit is trying to tell her. Nobody likes rejection. So make sure you're not rejecting people and clean your conscience, clean your mind so you can move on to the next. Positive comments below, everybody. I'm the Baron, telling you guys to trust in you and the universe. Because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Soul Travel. Let me let me start by putting some Florida water on my hands. All right. As you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in reading zodiac signs of birthdays. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. We're going to be doing your fire card spray. I see the fire cards that you chose down here. And we're going to get on this thing. <laughs> you know if you selected the seventh house to which you did. Uh, yep, you select the seven how uh, that you can't skip that one on the question, okay? Okay. You don't have to ask something. Okay, okay. Anything? As long as it's about a relationship. Okay. All right. Now take a liberty shuffle in your car. Say your first name so I can pray on it. Do I have permission to cut your cards? Yes. Yeah. All right. We're going to go with your second house. We're going to go with your fourth house. The seventh house. Eighth house. And ninth house. All right. We're gonna start with your second, with your first card, which is in your second house. Your second house is ruled. Your second house is ruled by Taurus, and it's governed by Venus. Your second house represents your current economic situation, current money, wealth, prosperity. What you got in the bank right now? In this house right here, you have the Undines and the Mermaids in the upright position. Spirit is saying you're being kind of tight penny now. Nah, you're being Tight penny, are you not working yet? Yes, I'm working. So why are you feeling the need to save so much? Because I I don't have I'm not saving. I don't have anything to save. It's just I have to pay bills with the money that I make from work. Okay, pitch so this is I'm a, getting tight on net money. Okay, so this is a pitch a penny situation. Yes. All right. Right. So now let me tell you hi, something. Hi. I'm finished. I'm finna I'm finna let you know something right here. Right when I was saying the palm of my right hand started burning on fire. It started burning oh. on fire just when we were talking. I said it's a pity. That's why I rubbed like this and I'm like, huh. So that tells me that you are going to receive some money. You're you're it's a pity picture situation right now, but outside of that, this is money coming in to you. Very soon. I need it. I need it. What else you want to tell the spirit? Now, 
the spirit is saying you're kind of doing this backwards in order to get this money to come to you you shouldn't be doing the whole i'm going to save a dollar and hope that i don't go broke it's supposed to be more of an investing more of a share sharing the money so you can get it back in return you know the the theory of uh of revolving dollars okay so just when you go out to a restaurant and eat do you tip pretty decent um the last time i went out oh i did it's been a while but i did um I haven't really gave anybody no money. Okay. Like, if, you know, um, I helped a, a older lady in the store. Like, that's just something I do. You know, they be looking for something. You know, they can't make it back there. They already know they forgot something, so I'll go get it. You know, something like that. So, that's that's kind hearted and thing, but let me tell you what Spirit said in order to get this increase. Uh, to get this increase speeded up coming to you, because my hand burning is going to come to you. I'm looking for right now. So what you're gonna what you're gonna have to do, right? You're gonna have to literally when you get paid, give somebody five dollars. I don't care who it is. Walk past somebody on the street, here go five dollars. Okay. Simple as that. Every paycheck, here go five dollars. Okay. Watch what watch what happened. Five dollars is crazy. It's nothing okay. to us. Wow. And five dollars been on my mind. Mm -hmm. just hand, they say just hand the five dollars to anybody and watch what increase you may get give five dollars walk up the road and find thirty thirty five hundred on the ground i just know that in my right hand is it, it was burning like a motherfucker so money is coming to you would you like to ask this card a question no thank you card thank you you're explained everything thank you all right now we're going to go over here to your fourth house. Your fourth house is ruled by cancer and it's governed by the moon. Your fourth house represents your actual house and home where you live. It also represents your the three closest people you will allow to stay in your home via friends and family. In this house right here, you have the nine of earth in the upside down position. Now this card right here is, is it, it can come two ways with me, but I'm going to tell you the way that spirit said and then I'm going to tell you the second way he said it. This card right here could come to the point where you, where they say you kind of given up. And I don't want to use the word giving up on the kids coming back or somebody coming back, boyfriend, husband, kids. Uh, it's like you're not worried so much about it. I ain't going to say giving up. Thank you, Spirit. You're not letting that stress you out so bad. Right. That's true. Yeah, Spirit is saying. I'm trying to yeah, mm -hmm. Spirit is saying you you not planting any seeds, you're not doing any more spell work, you're not going to courts, you're just saying, okay, universe is in your hand. This is a good thing. You learn how to trust the you and the universe. The second thing what Spirit is saying is, although you have given up and you're taking your hands back, there's still a need to till the soil. When it comes to you, you, you know how to farm, so you know what tilling the soil means. Go back over it aerate the soil shake it up a little bit go over your paperwork make sure you ain't miss nothing okay okay and the universe working in your favor but still you got to meet them halfway okay so mm -hmm. i know i don't i don't this the whole situation is a you know a bad it's a horrible situation, Dad. I know. I, <laughs> I don't know. I done read the paperwork. I get depressed. You know, when I just make mistakes, and I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what to do. 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 I just spirit just told you what else you can do. Go over that paperwork. If you're looking at the paperwork and you get depressed over the lies, maybe they probably mentioned a lie in there, and the lie is the lie that's gonna expose their ass, letting the people know they lie. She do crack cocaine. She she killed chickens in the middle of the night. 
And then they people like, okay, if they said, then when can you show me proof that I ever done X, Y, Z right here? And then if they can't prove that or the state can't prove it, the people who dealing with the kids can't prove it. Now, Your Honor, that's reason to say they lied on the rest of the shit. You see what I'm saying? Okay. You're overlooking small things. All would, right. would you like to ask this card a question? Yes. How should I go about, I don't know if the right word to say, expose or um, let me live be known? Like, who do I go to? Because I went to, you know, several people and I'm not getting any help. So who do I actually go to to talk to for somebody to listen to me and understand? Spirit, who is her ally in this case? When she see the lie and she pick it through, who can she go to? Fertility, okay. Yes, I love it. And meditate. Fertility, yes, and meditate. Why don't you sit up there and have the baby do the talking for you? You follow what they're saying? Are your kids, are the kids, are they talkable? Yes, but I haven't, I haven't talked to my baby baby. I, I don't have no contact with them. So, let me, I, 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 I'm not telling you to manipulate your child. I'm just telling you to get your child to speak on your behalf. So next time y'all do meet, the child is around something. When you do talk, you tell the baby all the good stuff. And then you expose the baby. You tell the, you expose the baby to all the bad shit that X, Y, Z, whoever had the kids is saying. So if they say, oh, my mama used to do crack. And I'm just going to throw that out there. My mama used to do crack and drugs and everything else. The baby, I, I let them ask the baby, hey, have you, other children, have you ever seen your mama do crack? No. Nope. But why did, yeah, she was with us. She ain't never did that. Yeah, have you ever seen your mama, you know, abuse anybody? No. Nope. But this is what they wrote in the paper that she was doing all this and that the kid's old enough to compensate. No, she didn't. Let the kids be your mouthpiece. I got to figure out a way to get in contact with him. That's the only thing. And how old is this young man? He's 12 now. Oh, shit, hell. He talking his ass him. off. He talking his ass off right now. He can talk and, he, and they'll listen. I got to figure out how to get on. You know, figure out exactly where he at. The only thing I know is he in Georgia. So the baby daddy ain't, the baby daddy ain't giving you no, no, no nothing. You know, it what? was all the uh, out of fight, hatred type of thing. But they can take you to damn court. Mm -hmm. It's a court order. He wasn't supposed to take him over state line, but they got pulled in the court, so it's just me. It's just me and, and my army. Mm -hmm. And you in Florida? Yeah. And Florida is a mother state. Mm -hmm. And this is basically virtually kidnapping then. Yeah. So who do I talk to when they got people that work at the court? Now, now, I'm, now I'm understanding why Spirit said you overlooking your paperwork, darling. If you went Florida and you filed for an interstate compact to get this this case brought back to Florida, I'm gonna tell you how it go. You know what an interstate compact is? No. Well, now you do. It is paperwork where the court system can go between states and compensate. And if you can't make it to Georgia and you're y'all got paperwork and he took the kids without that, no matter if they've been up there with him for two years, he committed a crime and you didn't know. You should, your lawyer should be telling you this type of shit. I'm not a legal professional, by the way. I'm just telling you something, so don't hang your hat on what I'm saying. Seek legal legal counsel. But I'm an interstate compact gets that case, get the kids, everything moved back to the state of Florida. You ain't gotta constantly travel to Georgia. And you, and they, and well, I don't know Georgia, they, they scheduled a court here, but, you know, he never show up. It's then he's breaking the law. Not. Then that's breaking the law because he has to show up. He's in contempt of court. See, now I'm seeing why Spirit saying you're not going over your paperwork right. Now, you see what they're saying? Yeah, but I'm, I don't understand. I know, I understand that he got pulled in the Georgia courts, right? No, 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 there's no Georgia court. Everything still is in Florida. He ran off to Georgia. So how? He was so, in Georgia for a year with my baby before I even knew about it. That's the thing, like, they got, 
they have people that work inside the courthouse that are able to do certain things. So, well, man, I think somebody need to get put on their ass and get fired because some paperwork ain't right. And if you go down there to the courthouse being the mother of those children and you haven't lost legal custody, or 100% custody, you being the mother and there is paperwork, you supposed to have that paperwork in your hand every fucking meeting you go to. And then on, and then on the thing you do, you go to an attorney and say, hey, I want my kids. This dude broke the law. And there's somebody in the courthouse working for his behalf. You're going to expose injustice and all that shit. But if this is a Florida case, and Florida is a mother state, trust me, his ass is grass. You're not doing all, now I'm seeing why Spirit's saying, you're not looking at this paperwork correctly. I'm going to text you off panel, and I'm going to I'm gonna share some, which I ain't going to share during this reading, but I'll text some off panel to you, okay? Okay, okay. All right, let's go to the next card. We're going to, we're going to go over here to your seventh house. Your seventh house is ruled by Libra, and it's governed by Venus. Your seventh house represents your relationship, the couple dating, matrimony. In this house right here, you have the seven of earth. Here we go with this earth again. You have the seven of earth in the upside down position. Spirits say, you have stopped even trying to be a girlfriend, a wife, or whatever it is that you love to be. You giving up, mama. You giving up. So you don't have no boo thing around you? What about the older man that I see? What older man? Oh, there ain't an older man jocking after you? When I say older, I'm talking at least five years older. No, I have the only person that I met, he don't even live in the country. So, uh, that's the only person I've been conversating with. But as far as like meeting anybody around here, mm-mm. Hey, oh, it's mm-mm. Something ain't right, because Spirit is saying right now that you're overlooking some gentleman that's that's really sweet on you, right next to you, five years your senior. I ain't seen no. You know, you've seen him, you've seen him, so ain't nobody flirting with you. Ain't nobody saying, hey, little mama, you cute, hey, little mama, you homely, hey, little mama, you can do this right here, hey, mama, you want to go kickbox with me? Ain't nobody saying nothing for the to tell you. They, you just walking around scot free. Yeah, I, I don't want to say no. I just don't want to say no. I, I, I don't remember nobody saying that to me. Cause you're if, not. If they did, I don't remember because it's like it's hard for me to try to move on and love because I'm a mom. You know what I mean? So. It's hard to 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 just move on like that and a piece of my heart not with me. Gotcha. But still you that know? don't that don't excuse what my cards are saying. That you've given up on trying to get a relationship. Do you know that two is better than one? How you know that it ain't some law enforcement officer? How you know it ain't somebody out there that you can hook up with that got status that can sit up there and out fuck these people in the court that's fucking with you? But if you're too busy being depressed, sad, and distant from life, you're not going to get everything you need. I'm telling you what the car say. Spirit is telling you to open your eyes and look for this man five years your senior. He is around. So don't talk to the man no more than I'm talking to. Oh, this man all the way in fucking Africa. Is he going to be over here tomorrow? No. Is he sending you all kind of funding and promising you a ring and rare stones and shit? Oh, uh, not sending it, but... Promising. Just nothing to like that. Like, I don't want to be around him. Okay, well, so he's waiting on you to come over there. Come on, baby girl. You smarter than this. You're too cute and you're too damn smart for this. You, okay. you deliver children for a living. You got sense. Don't miss out on your blessings here waiting on the other side to get shit right. Because you think he's sitting up there twirling his fingers with his feet in the air, god damn it, by himself at night? Let's be realistic. Oh, yeah, I know that. You know I ain't gonna duck now. Okay, so... <laughs> Okay. Don't be no duck, which you ain't no duck, but don't sit up there and isolate yourself when he all the way in another country. Let him build up all the houses and the life that he wants, but you better enjoy yourself right here and now, and then the person you get with is going to be able to assist you when the, in your legal situation. Okay. 
long as he understands about my about my baby, you know what I'm saying? Because I just feel like it's, it's hard for me to just fully give myself. You ain't got the spirit ain't saying nothing about fully I'm give yourself. Like spirit ain't say nothing about that. Spirit say it's time for you to start living. How you gonna want to be a life and have a life, have the kids and everything when you not when you're not providing? For the kids, you're not making a bed for them. Uh, let me tell you something about the court system in Florida. They rather see two parents together than one. If you walk in that bitch and I got me a whole mate and he got credential and status, yeah, you winning all day long. On top of winning all day long. Okay. I know it's hard. So open your eyes, hang out with your friend, start. Analyzing the brothers over here, you ain't got to tell them about a Kufi over there in Africa. That ain't their business. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but you let... I ain't going to do all of that. You let... But, you know, it's just, I be fighting. Sometimes, man, I just fight the bullshit before... You know, I'm, it's just, it be hard to... When you been on bed with people, it's like you already know. Some men be on other stuff, and I can fight that. So let me tell you something. If you got the guy to spot the bullshit before it's happened, when it's coming, and all that shit, there, who's to say that you have to deal with the bullshit? If you can spot it, go to the next. If you can spot it, there, go to the next. If you can spot it, but Spirit is saying you gave up. That's the meaning by this card. You gave up on looking. I sure did. God damn it, I'm, my card's right. Would you like to ask this card a question? Whew. Yeah, I'll probably need to ask that card a question. Yeah, this your seventh card. Now you see why this is the most important card in your whole arsenal. <laughs> what could I do? No. Because I got to build my own company. Um, fair. <laughs> Spirit, what is it? When should I start looking? How should I start looking? And what the hell should I be looking for? I can't ask that question. You say help you out. I can't ask the question for you. What 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 should I be looking for, Spirit? When should I be looking? How should I be looking? How do you want me to, to present myself? What energy do I need to invite? Nah. How do I need to show up? Now you now you now you're just showing off with the questions. I get it, I get it. Get it. You show all <laughs> showed off. Spirit. <laughs> Spirit, help her out here. Answer all them damn questions. What, how, when, where, and why she should be looking. Look in the mirror, choose peace. I like that. Release tension. Father, husband, bro. Shit, you playing with my cards? <laughs> Listen to what they said. Choose peace. Choose peace. Release tension. Father, husband, brother, son. You better get you a man that's going to see your side of it. And look to make you better to ease your pain and suffering. Baby, I let me go down there. I feel out the paperwork. Let me see if I can help. This person gonna be like, baby, we got this. You better find a nigga that's so supportive. I don't care if he full of shit. And when in your mind, if that motherfucker willing to support you and all you do, that's the one. That's the one you deal with until you get the kufi. Uh -huh. He spirits say, look for somebody that is super supportive. And you may end up forgetting about Koofy motherfucking ass. Yeah, he's cool. You, that ain't, you know, I ain't all um, hung up, but, you know, it was just, I just told him to kill time. Mm -hmm. And he ain't here to aggravate me and bug me, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That's me, get, that sounds like somebody that just want to give up. I just need a little social media excitement and now and then, and I done gave up. The card said it. So while you sitting up there not yeah. getting aggravated by somebody's bullshit, when you're missing out on your support system. Damn, did I hit you in the head just then? Yeah, you did. <laughs> so look for this man, five years your senior, a support system for your ass, and then you go for that, okay? Okay, five years my senior, okay. Boy, I've been here. I mean, you're only a 50-year-old man. Yeah, yeah, 50 year old. We older men, yeah. we, we older men got something out there for the young guy, yeah. See, yeah, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna find that with some thirty-five year old, forty year old dude. That nobody oh, going fishing. No, I want those jitterbugs. Them jitterbugs are so they epic. No, no, no. 
Oh, I need an ARP type of land. That's that's it. Shit, it's told you now, and the ARP man gonna support your ass. So don't play. <laughs> Hold on, A A R P. Let throw no no. Let throw an extra A in that bitch. A A A R P here. For real. Get him old. <laughs> Close to the grave. Some liniment oil and some oval tea. Get him right. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. Okay. So now we're gonna go over to your eighth house. Your eighth house is ruled by Scorpio and is governed by Mars and Pluto. Your eighth house represents your subconscious mind. What did you think about? Desire, fear, want. Uh, in this house, you have a very unpleasant card, but it's in a pleasant position. You have the three of air in the upside down position. Spirit is saying, when it comes to your mind, you are not scared of shit. You are not scared of snake, rat, dog, cat. You ain't afraid to go punch a goddamn police in the face, take his gun, and kiss him afterward. You a real fearless fucking person. I know. But why? But Spirit saying, if you're so damn fearless, and you're so damn adamant about what you want, why are you letting your mind betray you? When, I, when I'm unsure about, especially with my spiritual work, if I get unsure, I just don't do it. And you because know, I don't know. And you, you know, know what I mean? I'm not, a, I'm not a vet. You know, I'm still, I'm, I'm always a student, but I'm a fresh student. So, I just, I just blow. And mm -mm. if I feel unsure about something, I won't, I won't do it. Well, that's that's just that's, that's false evidence appearing to be real. You psyching yourself out, darling. You are more okay. powerful, more strong, and more capable than you're giving yourself credit for, okay? Okay, okay. Would you like to ask this card a question? Yes. How do I let go of this fear when I when I feel when I, when I feel like I'm doubting myself, how do I let go of that fear? Spirit, how does she let go of this fear when she feels she doubting herself? Mother, wife, sister, daughter, do I need to say more? You realize that this wow. fear shit, that you're doing everything because you are a mother. You're doing this thing because you know what it is to be a wife. You're doing this because you know how it is to be a daughter. Come on now. You doing this for your femininity, and I'm telling you, ain't nothing more stronger on the planet in the world than a fucking female. That feminine energy is 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 potent. Mm -hmm. Spirit said, "Mother, wife, when you get afraid, you sit up there, and you do it. The uh, quick little quick little side by story. You see how the how the motherfucking women could get super strength when they baby trapped under a car or in a ditch somewhere." Or, Motherfucker scared. Get motherfucker don't even know how to swim. They baby floating down a river. They scared of water. They jump in that bitch and miraculously say that baby didn't know how to swim and shit. You follow me? Right. You right. do it because you have to. You do it because you a mama. You do it because you a wife. You do it because you you possess the feminine energy of the female gods. Don't be scared. The spirits bow down to you before they ever bow down to any man. That's how you get past that shit. I am woman, hear me roar. <laughs> <laughs> shit, do I have to take it back to Julie Newman? <laughs> you know, I know they're gonna correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, I just I just let go of that fear. I just let go of that fear. Mm -hmm. All right. So get that fear based shit out your heart and get the get the searching for your man, get to doing your magic to get your kids, get to doing your magic to freak that nigga brain out so he can do the right thing. Right now, you're supposed to be sending a demon to hunt his motherfucking conscience. But hey, I digress. I'm a good guy. <laughs> no, because he bare my mind. <laughs> Whew. This, this brain of mine, I got to... Because sometimes it's going savage mode, you know? So I got to... Oh, I got a regroup from that. That's probably so, what that's probably what needs to be around you, savage mode. Don't beat his don't don't physically savage his ass. But how about you get it throw his ass in a pot and savage his ass that way? Uh, you ain't going to jail if you put him in a pot, but if you go and put your hands on and put a bullet in his ass, you're going to the chain gang. And trust me, I do I, not and oh, I do not visit I people know. in jail. I will not visit I your know. ass. I send you a dollar once a once a year. I ain't coming to see you. I ain't going. Okay. <laughs> I ain't going. 
Okay, so throw his ass, do, do, do it on the other side. You forget. You forget who you are, right? You're a doula, right? Uh, up and coming doula. I'm uh, still working on that. Uh, up and uh, coming doula. Like, so let me let me help you out. What doula? What people don't understand about doulas and people who deal with babies and deliver babies. You guys are doing the great mother of the universe, the main feminine energy, a service of birthing her babies, nurturing her offspring and her seed. Do you not think if you ask her? To deliver your children back to you because you delivering her children to the world for her that she gonna step in. Mm. I ain't gonna preach to you. I'm just doing a reading now. I get mad when I see women I, not doing no, their power. No, I felt that one. I felt that Shit, one. you better get in I your feminine. You better stand in your feminine energy. I felt that. I know. I'm. I want to walk out of the house. I want to walk away from my job, but I know. It's probably not the right time. Just don't stress me out. Mm-hmm. Don't yeah, worry. What's the broadcast You'll get the... Hey, you DJ, you ready, your DJ? Hey, this is... You ain't no radio DJ. <laughs> I just put y'all some muscles on the TV so y'all can watch TV and eat. <laughs> so I'm behind the scenes with master control and all that good stuff. So I do the program and, you know, format everything to show on TV. Shit, hell, you can do, you can get your own social media, your own entertainment thing and do it for yourself at home with your computer and laptops and shit. That's some shit you can work, you can start a business doing that and, and have your hand up women's asses at night. Batman do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready to start doing my work. I'm ready to start getting out and I need to be outside. I like to be out the door. I got you. No worries, well, going. I'm gonna start doing my doodle work, so I'm gonna just, you know, I take notes. I just put my notes on everything that I need to do. Mm-hmm. And um, yes. Okay. Yeah. So. It's time for me to get my LLC and get started. There we go. So now we're gonna go over here to your fifth card, which is in your ninth house. Your ninth house is ruled by. Sagittarius and is governed by Jupiter. Your ninth house represent your future, your reality, what will be, what will be coming to you. In this house right here, you have what's beside my head? Oh. In this house right here, you have the five of Earth in the upright position. This card is all about sacrifice. Spirits say you're gonna have to give a little bit of yourself in order to gain the world. So you're gonna have to give up this physical this physical 3D way of thinking in order to in order to get exactly what you need and exactly what you want out of life. Okay. Go ahead and say farewell to the to the 3D flesh. That don't mean off yourself. Say farewell to the 3D mindset. Say farewell to the I can't I can't get past the court system. And you got to learn how to deal with principalities because the more spiritual you get, the more you're able to maneuver and progress in what you really want in life, okay? Okay, okay. Would you like to ask this card a question about your future? What? I mean, okay. How do I do that? Spirit, how does she, how does she sacrifice uh, this mindset, this energy she has on her to become the person you want her to be? Follow your heart. Nurture yourself. Energy healing. Do I need to explain those three cards? Go ahead. <laughs> Follow your how do you become uh, spirit say how do you sacrifice yourself? Follow your heart, nurture yourself, and energy healing. The more you detach from this world and the fear-based system that you have that you can't do anything, you begin to nurture yourself. After that shit, that's when you can start your energy healing. And once you start your energy healing, boom. You're good. Okay. That's how you do it. All right. How did you like to read? I enjoyed it. I know I, I had to. Clarity for my head. I, I got a little rough with you there. I do apologize, but spirit had to. Oh, no. I needed that. that when, when you talk rough like that, like you did last time, you going to put $6 on some bullshit. <laughs> I put my reading. 
Yeah, but everything is working good. You, your kid's supposed to be with you. It's just that you're overlooking the small print. You're overlooking the power you have as a woman and the feminine energy that's backing you spiritually. You're you're overlooking that paperwork. You're overlooking it, and spirit is telling you to go over. The, I know you don't want to read it. I know you don't want to see it. I know you don't want to listen to the lies. But God damn it, it's something in the lie that's gonna make you better. Maybe he put in that thing that you signed the paper work over that he can take them and now you just want the kids back because you have a second thoughts. And if that ain't your signature no well and whatever the fuck he produced, he lied. Yeah. I'm giving you the small shit that happened. Right, right. Okay. So spirit ain't telling you to go over this paperwork for nothing. I need to go over the kids. There you go, fresh oh, eyes. <laughs> there you go, fresh eyes. Let make sure you write a statement, notarize it. I did not give him permission to take the kids in no form or fashion out of town for a day, a month, a week. He took these kids and he stole these kids, ripped these kids from me, and he violated the court thing. I did not sign any documents, and I attest to that. And it's your signature. Mm -hmm. You never know why the courts in Georgia being so nice. Maybe somebody that worked in the court system forged your shit. You got me. Oh no, the courts in Georgia don't know. Well, I'm well then maybe, maybe in Georgia know what's going on. Maybe the courts here forged some shit. Somebody that he know the principality he got in the courthouse forged some shit, and you can see that ain't my signature, and you're overlooking it. Spirit telling you how to beat this shit. Just see. Huh. Wow. All right. It's always a pleasure talking to you, darling. Yes, yes, definitely. Did it? Uh, before we before we close out, did everything go all right with, with that uh, ritual I gave you to do about the on the door? It did. We'll speak but... speaking speaking cold now. Oh. oh. Yeah. Um. It did, and then I received what I had called you about, and oh. it was it's like thick, 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 thick black. Mm. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. It got rid of the shit. It got rid of the main shit off, huh? Must have did. And then another one, had a blue one that just actually went out. And it had all um, the only did a little black. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is, it only did it in... I'm going to get clarity from spirit, but it, 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 it got to do something with my heart. Gotcha. All right. And that hurt. Yeah. Listen, the spirit got your back on this. It's a lot going on now, but you got more than enough power, future doula, to beat this shit. Remember, you doing a favor for the universe, the feminine energy, she got to do a favor for you. Y'all need to learn to tap into that, all right? Okay, okay, gotcha. Well, all right, darling. It was a pleasure talking to you. If you need the reason, you know how. Yep. All right, I'll talk to you later. Thank you. All right, you be good. Wait, you gotta say trust the universe because at the end of the day. That's all. You're right. <laughs> all right. So. All right. I won't. I, I'm gonna say it at the end of your video, okay? Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. All right. Be good. Okay. Bye bye. All right, everybody, I have been working with her for a good little minute and things are working out for her. Uh, every day it's a cycle how we need to break certain ties in our mind and in our hearts and in our soul, fear-based system. And Sister Hill going to get it. She deserved it. I mean, if y'all ever know her, I never got to meet her in person, but just talking to her off panel and over the years, she's just, this is her character, the, the nice voice, the easy going, this is her character, the one that truly want to change, this is her character, and you can't, you can't find good people like this too much, so spirit got her back, the divine feminine mother got her back, alright everybody, I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust in you in the universe, because at the end of the day, that's all you got, please like, share, and subscribe, thank you all, Soul Tribe.